Paternal lymphocyte immunization therapy, LIT, we have discussed extensively in trying to teach you what are the indications and who are the couples who may benefit from that. Today's session, we will guide you to a pre-evaluation map. How do you understand this report if you are a fertility physician or if you are a patient? This video will show you a sample report as to how it is done and will guide you as to what should you keep in mind before you study this sample report and present it to the patient. So this is the sample report which is going to be presented. How is the sample reporting done? It is the husband's. If you see the name of the donor is basically the name of the husband. All right. We need to study the reaction of the patient's serum with the husband's lymphocyte. So it is very, very simple. How does the human body work? Okay. Just study this thing nice and clear. You have the husband here. You have the wife here. All right. Now, if in case, let's say the husband's lymphocyte, I'm representing by L. If the wife already has a response to this lymphocyte stored in its memory, understanding? So that means if the antibody to this is already present, okay, antibody positive, that means as soon as the husband's lymphocyte comes inside the maternal serum, this is going to be recognized, all right, as a foreign body. As soon as the foreign body gets recognized, the antibody will become active and it will go and it will kill this lymphocyte. That means reaction of patient serum with donor lymphocytes, donor lymphocytes, donor lymphocytes in diluted concentration is going to keep on getting positive, positive, positive. That means the wife or the mother is already sensitized towards the lymphocytes. Correct? If let's assume the report is like this, that means the report is negative. That means there is no sensitization. Because there is no sensitization, we are thinking or we want to predict or we want to believe in a manner that we can induce an artificial sensitization by doing LIT, by doing lymphocyte immunization therapy. So when we introduce this artificial sensitization, the antibody becomes positive and the minute antibody becomes positive, it becomes protective to the pregnancy. All right. Because the antibody becomes protective to the pregnancy, LIT may go and benefit. But now comes the biggest problem as far as this test is concerned. See, this is a pure husband's lymphocyte as compared to the wife's antigen. What is a fetus? Fetus or a baby is basically a combination of the husband plus the wife. But the exact matching which has occurred between the husband wife and the alleles which have got shared and not got shared is extremely difficult for us to predict. And as a result of this, this is the scientific answer why LIT is effective in only 10% of the cases and not in 100% of the cases. In fact, this is the answer why LIT is effective only when you are doing a self cycle. That means using self eggs plus self sperms. That is the reason why LIT has no benefit when you are using donor eggs and donor sperms. Because you are trying to sensitize it to somebody else's sperm, somebody else's eggs where it is not even going to be used. And that is the reason LIT or immunotherapy has its flaw. The reason for this flaw being predominantly because the type in which the antigen is presented in the fetus is extremely polymorphic. And this is controlled by two things. One is HLAC and the other is uterine natural killer cells. We'll be discussing HLAC and uterine natural killer cells in great detail. But as a consultant or as a patient, you should understand that this is the basic concept of doing lymphocyte immunization. The concept is to develop a blocking antibody. When you develop a blocking antibody, that means it is recognizing that, okay, this is a part of my immune system because the antibody has already been developed and it goes and it protects the fetus. That's it. How effective is it after doing LIT? Do you need to repeat the test? You can repeat a test if you want after approximately six to eight weeks. If no sensitization has occurred, you can repeat an LIT. There are multiple studies which have shown that LIT can be repeated every six weekly 
when it is indicated and when it is working and because there is no consensus about this we still try to call lit as an experimental therapy so friends remember this thing this is the core concept of lit if you understand this concept perfectly well you will be able to take a sound judgment and counsel your patient in a clinically well suited manner